What is going on guys, it's Chris here and today we are having a look at a very predictable title. We are having a look at GTA 5, the now record breaking GTA 5 that has just hit 800 million dollars in sales. Now I don't know about you but I personally would love 800 million dollars so congratulations to them. And Sum up this game in five words or less. Um, I'll do it in three words. It is incredible. Seriously, if you love GTA, you'll like this. If you like GTA, you'll like this. If you're kind of on the fence about GTA, you'll like this. If you don't like GTA, you may still like this. I mean, seriously, this is, is without question the best GTA ever. Now, in terms of graphics, how is it? Um better I mean you can see here bear in mind this isn't actually captured in HD because I can't capture in HD uh, this is this is 720 but it's um component cable so it's not as good as it could be and uh, like I said it's an improvement it's definitely better than GTA 4 but it isn't the best it could be you know if you compare it to Last of Us and things like that then the graphics is pathetic but really you know, you don't buy a GTA game because it's stunning. You know, you want it to look good, but you don't care if it doesn't look like a masterpiece. This doesn't look like a masterpiece, but it is fit for purpose. And that really is the main thing, if it, it does what it wants to do. In terms of gameplay, uh, some things have changed. Um, the sort of shooting feels less like standing in the street with a machine gun open fire. It's more rolling into cover, uh, you now have three characters, you're sort of switching be between them on some of the missions, which can be very good. And it's definitely improved the combat mechanism in terms of driving, to change the topic. It's different, again, it, it, it's definitely more realistic, uh, particularly weather now affects the cars. If you hit something at an incredible speed, you just go straight through the windscreen. So now cars are about as dangerous as bikes to ride, which uh, is either good or bad, depending on your view. Uh, the missions are a lot of fun, actually. I mean, you're looking at a mission right now, trying to catch a guy hanging off a, a boat. I mean, this is one of so many missions. I mean, this is a great thing about this game, is that the missions are not predictable. I mean, we've seen... In previous GTA, it's go there, kill this, or go there, steal that, or go there and do this. It, it was always very predictable. But with this game, it's not. The missions are all quite different. Some of them are a bit simple, some are more complex, but, you know, there's always some unpredictable element to it. And I think that's very important. In terms of soundtrack, in terms of like the radio, stuff like that, um, they're done okay. I'm not going to lie, I'm, I've never been overly impressed with GTA's radio, they've never got very good songs. The uh, best song I've, I've seen they've got, or rather the most commercial song, is uh, a Rihanna track, and it's uh, Only Girl in the World, which is a few years back now. So, you know, they've done okay, but not bad. In terms of the general soundtrack, it, it sounds fine. Um, obviously, I cannot comment at this point on the uh, GTA Online, because GTA Online is not coming out until the start of next month. And I am super, super stoked for GTA Online and I will definitely be reviewing it and I'll definitely be doing Let's Plays on it and stuff like that. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll be really good. So yeah, that's really, we're just coming up to the end now. Overall, I'd give this game a 9 out of 10. It's not perfect. A uh, few little gripes, but it's just so fun and it's just so fantastic. Those little gripes can be forgiven because it's an amazing game. Absolutely get it. We'll be reviewing GTA Online when it comes out. So until then, goodbye for now.